Hey everybody, you know who this is. This is Daniel the Big O. I'm out here with the fluffy poodle. That's right, Mr. Fluffy Bear and his blue hair. We got asked to do a service dog gear haul. That's right. We're, we're gonna do a gear haul on everything that we use um, for training, for hygiene, um, different vests, collars, and much, much more. So stay tuned, guys. And towards the end, some very, very important info is gonna come on the stuff that you need to help prepare your dog out in public in case of there's an accident or an emergency. So stay tuned, guys. Anyways, we're gonna jump right into it. First and foremost, I recommend getting a bag. This bag can be collapsed down extremely small and uh, or expand pretty wide if I uh, loosen this up, okay? This is the Camelback brand, not sponsored by them or anything. It's just something that I use because I can attach a whole bunch of stuff on all of these little loops that they have. We're gonna jump right into it on what's inside, guys. What's inside here is different toys that we use. This is a pull toy. So I use it for him to pull, stuff like that. So we're gonna drop that down right over here, okay? Next and foremost, we have, oh, you like them? This one's a bite toy, okay? Inside, I tell him just to bite it, fluffy, bite. Good, off, yes, bite, yes, out. See, just bite. It's to teach him how to bite, and then use the other one to pull. So when I need him to open up a cabinet that has a rope on it, he bites it and pulls it. See, every toy is used for a purpose. Set that one down, all right? Next one is kind of like a Frisbee loop. It's heavier. Um, it's just get different textures in his mouth. Um, same thing, just kind of fetch with it. But that one, oh, he loves this one. This is one of his favorites here. Uh, just, I launched this one and he, oh yeah, you like that one? Yeah, you like that one, boy, huh? Yeah, zit. Good, stay. Throw that one. We're just gonna go through these toys pretty quickly so you guys can get the most important things here in a second, which is his service dog vest and those emergency items that we use. Um, this is another fetch learning how to retrieve toy. Have a couple of those retrieve toys. This one's a waterproof one and it also floats different textures. This one you see uh, kind of got old and tore up. So did this one, the loop on it. So uh, make sure you're replacing them. That's why I'm showing you guys <clears throat> so things that you can replace and use. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I used to use these service dog treat bags. Um, I would recommend, uh, here, I have one, a treat in my hand. All right, so you see there's not a big bulge in my pocket or anything. I recommend just getting a baggie, putting your treats in a baggie, putting them in your pocket. See, I can easily put them in this pocket, grab them, give them a treat, grab them, give them a treat. Or I can put them in this pocket down here. I can put them in the pocket back here I can put them in any pocket and easily be accessible and move it around I'm not using the zip baggies okay that is key do not use the zip baggies use the regular sandwich baggies all right those sandwich baggies that just fold over on the top some of you guys know giggity giggity what sandwich baggies to use if you don't um, just go sandwich baggies they just fold over on the top all right that's what the little things for to keep the seal in all right, anyways, put those back in your pocket. Let's keep going. Oh, one last toy. This is a bite, bite toy um, to grab onto and not let go uh, for different things. Like I said, different toys for different things. Anyways, so there's the toys. Here's my book bag that I keep all my emergencies and essential items in. Let's jump into what we use on cold days and rainy days, all right? When it's cold outside or rainy outside, we use this little fleece jacket that we found. Really? Airplane, why? Why, airplane, why? Gotta edit. All right, all right, you guys hear it? Yep, it's still flying over. Oh, I got an eye burger too or something flew in my eye. Yep, being dramatic. Woo! Yes, boy. Yeah, you're a good boy, huh? All right, so like I was saying, 
this uh, this is a fleece jacket that keeps them warm, also keeps them cool and waterproof on, on the outside. So, like I said, it's fleece, so um, it's not too hot or anything, but it also keeps them warm uh, when it's a little bit cold outside. It's easy peasy, lemon squeezy, put it around his neck, put it around there. Um, it actually fits them there. Whoa, you fell down. All right, let's show him. That's how it fit him, okay? Put it around his neck. Oh, you look so sexy. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Put that down. Um, next thing, uh, we we got given this, this vest here. Um, I don't use this. It's generic. Anybody can buy this stuff. Um, it's extremely cheap. Uh, doesn't even fit right, rubs wrong. Make a long story short, I wouldn't even rec recommend this vest, all right? Um, I brought it just to show you guys, don't use it. Recommend getting two types of vests, um, or three types of vests. Number one is the custom one, the fabric that goes over them. Number two, as you see, he's already ready, huh? Is, this is a collar. Another airplane? We're not even by an airport. We're not even by an airport. Bye-bye. I don't know what's going on. Anyways, anyways, like I was saying, ladies and gentlemen, this is a service dog collar, all right? As a handle on top, um, Velcro has service dog, extremely, really good, well-made. Um, this goes around them. So when it's really hot outside, the big vest, um, warm up your dog extremely hot. They get them pants in too much. So this is one way to eliminate that and also let everybody know he's still a service dog. So this is one of my favorites, all right? Number two of my favorites is the, the One Tigress. You can't go wrong with them. Military use it. Uh, it does have the loops, Velcro has two pockets, one on each side. Um, yeah, it's breathable. Um, dogs have used this over in war and the desert in the mountains. And look, no matter where you're at, this should keep your dog cool, warm, everything in between. So this is a highly, highly recommended. The leash that we use, the previous one that we used stunk really bad and I threw it away. Um, it was only about a three foot leash um, just to train, get them always next to me. Now what I use is this loop, all right? Um, you can throw it around your body like this and have him next to you. Or you can shorten it up um, or have it really long. Uh, I really, really like this leash. Now sometimes and not all the time, we definitely use this Springer uh, pinch collar or the Springer collar, right? Um, it's only for training. Training, okay, ladies and gentlemen. If you use this properly, two fingers and a little pop, okay, it, it doesn't do anything to your dog, but let them know, hey, mom or dad is right here and you need to pay attention, all right? Same thing what a mom or uh, dad dog does in the wild. Um, anyways, get off that whole subject. We'll just put it right there. If you agree with it, awesome. If not, then it's okay. Skip that part and use your own training methods because make sure you have a whole bunch of tools in your tool bag because you never know which tools you might need. Okay, we use a whole bunch of them. Treats to toys to uh, pinch collars to electric e-collars and much, much more. Make sure you have your poop bags. All right, this is self-explanatory. Poop bags. Put those right there. Nitty gritty, here's the nitty gritty, right? This is the uh, collapsible water, water and food bowl, okay? Make sure you always take your water with you. I get a little drink and then he gets a drink. Now, if you don't have a food bowl or a water bowl, cup your hand and place your water in it and they'll lick it out just like a cup. You ready? Here you go. I'm spilling very, very little. Good boy. That's just a boy. I just put water on your head because now my hand was wet. Giggity, giggity. 
All right, now let's go up front and get to the, the really good stuff, all right, ladies and gentlemen? You guys ready for it? Fluffy, come here, boy. All right, let's go up front and show them some good stuff. All right, so now we're gonna get into the nitty gritty of the personal hygiene and what you really need when you're out in public with your service dog or any dog that I would recommend you have all of this, all right? First and foremost is you gotta have a brush. No matter what type of dog you have, this brush is extremely, Ooh, I had a little burpity burp. Ooh, you smelt that? Mmm, that was like having breakfast all over again. Blech. Just kidding. Anyways, make sure you have a brush like this so you can uh, brush. This works for um, uh, getting, you know, a whole bunch of knots out, stuff like that. Uh, good brush, okay? This is the other brush. These are the only two types of brushes that I use for Mr. Fluffy Bear and his blue hair. All right, this brush... Um, or this is a comb. You see, Fluffy, look. I can go straight through everywhere on his body. Except up here, I like it. I like to keep uh, his top knot a little messy. You know, it's kind of like he has like little dreads or something, but uh, it's, it's kind of cute, you know what I mean? So put that other, the brush in that comb, make sure you have, you brush and you comb your dog so it's not shedding everywhere out in public or looking, looking a mess, all right? Be respectful and be a responsible pet owner and service dog owner. Make sure you clip your dog's nails, all right? Clip them once a week. Sometimes I forget, so sometimes it's every other week. Um, Cause I even forget to clip my own nails. <laughs> Fluffy, what you looking at, buddy? What's over there? There ain't nothing. There ain't nothing. He's watching my six though, and I like that. All right, so yeah, uh, make sure you guys clip your dog's nails. These booties. So sometimes uh, in the summer, the concrete gets extremely hot. So make sure you guys um, get some booties. <laughs> Corona. Just kidding. <laughs> make sure you guys get some booties in the summertime. Okay. Uh, make sure you train with them too before you use them. And it's funny because they'll lift up and go whoop, 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 whoop. <laughs> Anyways, uh, we'll set that down. Um, when you're combing, also a great product to use this detangler. Um, I love this stuff. This is great stuff right here. Not sponsored by them either, but uh, if the, if you know the owner of that company, definitely send the, uh, tell them to send me a message and uh, we'll, we'll get hooked up along with these next two products that are absolutely amazing. All right. Number one is pet cologne. All right. Yeah, no, 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 no. Don't get it twisted here. We're men. All right. It is not. It is not perfume. It is cologne. All right. What does this one smell like? This one smells like that sugar cookie. All right. You spray this like once or twice, and I'm telling you, it's like mm mm good. Yes, it's like mm mm good. Look, it's like blah, 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 blah. nummy, nummy, nummy. It's it's a lip smacker. Yeah, that's right. It's a lip smacker. Definitely, if you guys, if anybody knows the owner of this company, tell them to send me a message to me and Mr. Fluffy Bear. But uh, this stuff smells uh, like fresh baked cookies. And who doesn't like a dog who does who smells like fresh baked cookies? You know what I mean? So definitely spray this. I only spray it once or twice, you know. Uh, uh, you know, once up here, once down there. Gotta smell good. <laughs> Anyways, um, the other other product we use is just in case if anything ever happens, this is like a wound sealer. It's kind of like a band-aid for dogs, okay? You see that we've we've barely ever used this. We we don't need to because if you pay attention to what you and your dog are doing, then you 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 guys shouldn't get hurt, but make sure you guys have this in your book bag because you never know when an emergency might happen. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So we're just going to put this up here, that up here, get everything looking good. I hope you guys are had had an awesome amazing time out here cuz I know myself and Mr. Fluffy Bear, that's right. The Fluffy Food Let's go in back and get an awesome, awesome, uh, uh, what's that called? Thumbnail? <laughs> Let's go get it, guys. Come on, Fluffy. Fluffy. Stay. 
All right, good boy. I hope you guys had a good time. I know myself and Mr. Fluffy Bear. That's right, Mr. Fluffy Bear and his blue hair. He had an awesome time looking over all of his stuff that he, he plays with and he owns and what we use on a seriously daily basis because each thing, you gotta get them excited. Gotta get them those treats. It's either treats, food, hygiene, much, much more. We'll see you guys next time. Fluffy, say bye-bye. Bye-bye!